Hello, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new to stopping by. I really hope you're able to take a message out of this reading. So before we hop in, go ahead and send a picture of your subscription and your YouTube username over to the email in the description box, which is earthangel111tarot at gmail.com. And you can be entered to win a free personal reading. Just a way to give thanks for coming up to 15k. So today we've got messages from spirit from your person and mixed in all together. Then I'm going to do a collective reading. And this is for anyone whose name starts with a J, first or last, or if the person you're dealing with does. So let's hop right in. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Okay, so that literally just bent one of my cards and fell, so Spirit wants that message out. Let's get a few more. Whoa, okay, they're like flying over. So first one's from your person on your mind or your person. It says, every time I see you, I am more attracted to your kind heart. Next one says, those eyes make me melt. Wow. So your person could be incredibly drawn to your eyes. And remember as well, if you find these energies aren't resonating and you're more on the other side, feel free to reverse the roles. This is a collective reading. Next message says, we need closure at least. So this could be either this person or someone else possibly you've let go of, maybe with an abrupt ending or no real communication towards the ending. Maybe they're admitting they want to have some sort of closure at least. It says, I thought you just wanted to be friends. Let's keep going. Let's get a few more messages. But so far, look at these are all from your person. Whoa. Okay, if you just flew out there, the first one says, I keep calling you, but hanging up, I miss you. So if this is someone you were dealing with from your past or currently, they keep attempting to either message you, reach out, call you, text you, but then something holds them back. Now, this is a message from your spirit guides. It says, you are enough. Your angels are sending you extra love, light, and protection during this time. If you have recently faced some sort of rejection, know that this was divine protection. And this is a message from the person on your mind. It says, nothing in this world is as precious as your love to me. May our connection grow stronger as each day passes. All right. There's a few more that flew out, but they didn't fly out on camera. So I like to do it right in front of you guys. So you see the messages are coming out. There we go. So what do we got? Spirit message for you guys. They're just being a bully trying to stop your shine. So if you've been dealing with anyone kind of difficult lately, that's been kind of blocking your success or trying to make you feel less than just be aware, you know, they see how bright you shine and they're just trying to stop it. So don't let anyone suppress you from being your authentic self and living in your authentic truth. Next one says, I want to talk about our future together. So that's from the person on your mind. Beautiful. This one's a nice one from the person on your mind. It says, we have an unspoken communication between us. It's like we're able to communicate through our energy. I feel you so strong at times. It's driving me wild in the best possible way. So this person is super intrigued by your energy, possibly by the conversations that you've had, or just when the two of you are together, the way that you make them feel. It says, I got scared of this connection. It's unlike any relationship I've ever had before. So if you know you're dealing with a runner or someone who is like lacking in their communication right now, they're admitting to you that, you know, they've never felt a connection as special as the one that the two of you share. So if they kind of ran away from you or stopped communicating or like an abrupt ending, this is why. Because they got so scared of the connection. Next one says, we belong together through the good and the bad. I just want you by my side. So really beautiful energy, you guys, from your person. Some messages from spirit too. It looks like whoever you're dealing with, you two could have abruptly ended things. No closure, no communication. Just kind of both of you holding back your emotions from each other. But it looks like this person is very incredibly drawn to you. They find you attractive, not only in a physical sense, but in a sense of your heart, who you are as a person, the way you treat others, and even just like your overall kindness, it really inspires them. Now, I want to talk about our future together. So this could be a conversation that your person would love to have with you it's like they may say okay can we at least just get some closure 
But then when it comes down to it, they want to be able to read the energy. They want to be able to communicate that they thought you just wanted to be friends too. Could have been really just like a misunderstanding between the two of you. When really in reality, they want to talk about a future with you. They feel like you two have like a deep telepathic communication that's maybe unspoken, but it's it's sensed, it's felt between the two of you. It's like a deep love. Beautiful. And look at that. Six of Pentacles really just makes me feel like you have shown this person a new side of life and of people in general. And most importantly, unconditional love. They feel like you not only have given them abundance when it comes to happiness and like an overall sense of being, but they feel like your love has really shown them that, you know, they were living in relationships that were possibly 3D, that were only based in material money, the way people looked. And then when it comes to you, this person just wants to be able to give you their heart. So if your person isn't speaking to you at this moment in time, they want you to know that they're in the background, keeping an eye on you and truly protecting you and guiding you to peace. Whether you realize this or not, um, you could connect with a stallion, possibly an Appalachian stallion. I believe Appalachian is the type of horse that is there. And so this person, um, if, you, if you are drawn to riding horses, Maybe this person thinks about taking you on a beach and the two of you actually just riding horses. Look at that because we've got the water in the background, the sand. And if you're dealing with someone with tattoos, male or female, this is that person in mind. They really want to come in with a solid offer, one that they know you won't be able to refuse. So this is really interesting. This is a love reading so far for sure. Now with this Ace of Wands, there's a heavy passion between the two of you and also you know, Spirit's just acknowledging how passionate you are about life. And the fact is that you need to keep going because you're really inspiring others with this creativity that you bring. And some of you as well are deeply connected to Spirit with that Ace of Wands there. You could be dealing with or could be yourself a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. You could also be dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or be one yourself. And also we've got Earth Energy Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So you could be any of those signs or dealing with any of those signs. Let's just put that down a little bit so you can see better. Now, Ten of Swords. Spirit saying, if you are terrified of this connection with this person, it's time to let down those emotional walls. You could be someone who's really had to go it alone for a long time in your life. Possibly felt like you only ever had spirit to count on. But this person is someone that you can count on and you can trust. And Spirit wants you to know that. Six of Wands in reverse. So this is directly connected to that bully card. Whoever was trying to suppress your shine or your light, um, they could have tried to copy you, try to take your image. Or for others of you, this person could have literally like talked crap about you to others in order for you to feel less than or for people to misjudge you. But you know, the proof is in who you are. When people meet you and they see your energy and they see how giving and loving you are, automatically any like misconceptions people had about you go away and this is really beautiful energy to be in because you are inspiring to others now at this moment in time you could either be a virgo or dealing with one but it looks like you've put yourself in a period of self-isolation due to this possible bully or this lack of understanding between you and this connection that you have when it comes to love but spirit wants you to realize these are all part of the lessons of growing and learning now, for some of you, you could have possibly recently gone through a really difficult ending. Um, for others of you, you could have either thought about conceiving and had a difficult time, or you could have possibly lost a child. My apologies to anyone if you have recently gone through anything like that. But Empress in the Upright represents fertility, abundance, and just a really positive being. And with it in reverse, it's like you went through some sort of difficult situation um, that really like tore at your heart and made you feel like you had to pull back your energy And this could even just be that bully kind of trying to make you suppress who you naturally are, which if you're an empress Get out of this reversal energy because you inspire others and you are someone known as nurturing giving loving that big kind heart of yours and so when you allow others to really make you feel less than You know, that's the energy that you're now representing People see that you have withdrawn from others and you're really trying to pull your energy back from others, possibly due to a lack of trust in people you once counted on. 
Now you could be a Libra or a Taurus or dealing with one as well. Six of Swords in reverse. So if you felt like you needed a new start, you needed to move, pack up locations, or possibly you needed to start a new project, a new love situation, Spirit is saying no, hold tight and work on the foundations that you have. So that's going to be a strong message for someone like say for example someone was trying to block your shine if you had a content platform or a career in specific spirit is saying if you continue to start over then you just have to start over what they need you to do is hold on tight to the foundations that you have the relationships that you have and allow yourself to grow now look at that page of swords in the upright so if you are specifically feeling like you are new when it comes to a relationship in particular or a career keep going because all those stepping stones and learning the lessons of growth will really be substantial to you in the long run the high priestess so this really connects to me with this person it's like the two of you realize that you had this really deep unconditional love for each other and possibly it's such a newer connection or it's such a like undiscovered connection the full depths of it 11 11 on the reading that's the soulmate number, you guys. Make a wish. And uh, it really just represents that you have a deep inner knowing who your true person is, whether it's this person or someone else on your mind. And spirit is saying to trust what you know. Don't keep trying to run away from people, places, or things. And especially it's like love. If you're scared of letting those emotional walls down, spirit says you already know deep within who the one person you can trust to let those walls down for. So we're going to go ahead and leave that reading there. This is all about you tapping into your intuition at this time and trusting that what is meant for you and what you've been working on, whether it's career related or love or both, is going to work out in a positive sense. But the more you hold yourself back and the more you allow others' opinions to affect you, the more you're creating this stagnancy in your own life and almost like blocking yourself off from the world. So Spirit's saying get out there. For some of you, it's a really good time to spend more time in nature, connecting with new people, and also putting yourself in those random situations where like say a group of friends invite you out for dinner and you're only familiar with the one friend. Spirit's saying go because you're gonna make friends with the other people. You're gonna meet new connections. And most importantly, you're gonna find yourself again after a time of feeling really lost. And that is gonna allow you to feel like you can put those walls down again and really allow true love and true connections, whether that's just platonic or not, into your life again. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that could resonate for you. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe if it did. Again, this is for anyone whose name began with a J, first or last, or if you're dealing with someone who does. And if you wanted to leave a donation to the channel, everything is so greatly appreciated. Even you guys just stopping by for me to be able to read your energy. And all the information for the PayPal link is left in the description box below, or you may give thanks on YouTube. And I just want to say thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day.